Welcome to the Seven Minutes Sting, a series about the Australian stingrays and the women who will make it great. I'm Mike Neild and I'm glad you're here. And now tonight, I'm here with Zoe O'Connor, a woman who just won her first national championships and looked uncomfortably cool while doing it. Hello, Zoe. Welcome. Hello. Nice to be here. Were you as relaxed, relaxed and cool as you looked the whole time, bud, down there? No, I was not. <laughs> I was um, hyped up on no-dos and very nervous. But Well, that was all below the surface. You had still yeah. on your eyes and focus. Well done. Um, all right. So just to branch away from Nationals for a moment, Zoe, if you were not playing on the Sting Race at the moment, what would your world be all about? Yeah. Well, I am. I'm self-aware I would probably still be playing Frisbee. I um, I would probably be doing some type of uni Frisbee at the moment. There's a UMUC, a mixed comp that's on while we're away. So I'd probably be training for that. Um, I don't know what I would do, be doing if I wasn't playing Frisbee, but if I wasn't playing Stingrays, I would probably just be playing more Frisbee. Uh, why? Why do you love it so much, Zoe? Why is it taken over in such a deep way for you? Oh, you just get sucked in so <laughs> quick, don't you? I think it was the first team sport I've ever like played, and I absolutely loved it. I wasn't, I was absolutely terrible when I started. I was like fourteen, never played a sport before, but I was like, this is it. I love it. You're home. I love people. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, you get sucked in so quickly. People are like, come play under 18s, come play like club, come play league. And I was just like, yes, yes, yes. And yeah, I love it. It's a good, good crew, good fun stuff. You get to do stuff like this. It's very good. Yeah, excellent. It is very good. Um, Can you tell me a bit about, uh, no, actually, don't even tell me that. Just answer me this question. You just won nationals. Now, does winning nationals make you a better or a worse person? <laughs> Process of elimination, I'm going to say better. I just don't think it would make you a worse person. Yeah, I'm not sure. A little bit of personal bias, a bit salty with the silver. <laughs> this is about no. you, not about me. <laughs> no, I'm just... I don't feel like a worse person, so I'm going to say better. Yes, everything's enhanced. You're walking around, the sun is shining brighter, the leaves are sparkling yeah. in a special way. Yeah. Welcome, Golden. Uh, well, congratulations. That was very, very cool. Um, when you were at Nationals, can you tell me about a little bit of stingray spotting? Did you see some of your teammates down the other end of the field? Yes. I saw so many of them. It was like literally everywhere you looked, there was a stingray. I'm not sure... Like, I feel like at least 80% of the teams had stingrays on them. So, mm. yeah, it was very cool to see them doing good stuff. I remember I was watching, I think it was the Chile, Chile versus Factory game. Um, So we've got, like, Julia, Kat, Thea, Nando's. Mm. And, yeah, they were absolutely killing it on field. It was a very, very tight game. It ended on a universe point. And, yeah, they were throwing themselves around out there. I was sitting on the sideline and Nando's did a massive, like, layout D, like, genuinely, like, a metre away from me. Oh, was, wow. Yeah, it was very cool. And people were like, oh, like, who's that? And I was like, oh, that's Anna Nando. She's on my Stingrays team. Yeah. So, yeah. That was great. Yeah. And, oh, one, one of my teammates, I was talking to her after it, and she was like, Zoe, like, how are you feeling about stingrays? And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I'm very excited, very cool, good group of people. And she was like, it's insane. Like, every time someone said, like, pointed out someone that was on your team, she said that they were just doing, like, amazing stuff. And she was like, every single time I would be like, who's that? I'd be like, oh, that's like, you know, and she's on the stingrays as well. Yeah. But, yeah, that was something, it was, it was very cool to hear. Just someone, mm. no like personal interest in the team, but just so hyped about it and really excited to see how we go. Yeah, she was like, I'm going to follow you guys every single game over there. 
I don't know, the support's like really nice and yeah. everyone's so excited for us as well. It's so cool. And yeah, it was great seeing everyone play, having everyone together for a little like unofficial, unofficial training camp or playing on different teams. Yeah, yeah it was cool. Um, do you get the sense that that uh, the team will carry like some responsibility or hopes of those other people who are either worst stingrays or aren't or never had anything to do with the team? Do you think like we have to take something with us? Yeah, we definitely will. Like everyone is so invested. Yeah. It's so supportive. It's really nice. And yeah, you've seen like when people play against us at the training camps, we had like tears from people like just so invested in like the stingrays journey and it's it's amazing to see. Like I've never really been on a team who's just got so much support from everyone. Feel like yeah when I'm playing on my club team everyone else like hates us and then everyone's so invested in stingrays and they're always asking about it and yeah, yeah. people are really excited to see how we go so, yeah how great um there's, there's only a minute left here we're flying through but I need to ask about like moving forward uh it's a unique time nationals just finished and now you only have one team can you tell yeah. me about that like how you feel on the eve of this little phase yeah, I am absolutely hyped. I've just come off of like a week of doing nothing, chilling, recovering from nationals, and I'm absolutely ready to dive into stingrays. And yeah, everyone else is as well. And it's going to be so cool to build up, being able to see each other more in those training camps and then our pre-tour and all the playing we're going to be doing overseas. I am so excited for it. So excited to be able to play with everyone again. And yeah. I'm just hyped. Yeah, it's the right way to be. There is a lot of intense frisbee coming your way, Zoe, so I'm glad you're feeling pretty hyped about it. Um, could you pick a single highlight out when you look forward? We've got camp, camp, London invite, tour, worlds. Is there one thing that's just like right on your horizon? The pre-tour. Mm. I love, I love, I feel like I don't need much personal space and we're always <laughs> no personal space on pre-tour and I love it. You get to bond with everyone. Everyone's excited. Everyone's ready for it. And it's just such a good vibe. So I'm, I'm ready to be around everyone all the time. Well, there you go, team. You're on notice. Uh, you're about to be on tour with Zoe and she doesn't need much space. No. Pack me in. Pack her in. Zoe O'Connor, thanks for being here on The Sting tonight. And we'll see you pretty soon. Thank you, Mike. Good on you, mate.